Also, I laid out my five-step program in the book Healing Celebrations, Miraculous Recoveries Through Ancient Scripture, Natural Medicine, and Modern Science. That is what the basics. We've got to go back to look at what are we going to do over the next several months to prepare for potentially something that is going to be uh, life-changing, planet-changing, and spiritually transforming. And uh, again, looking at purifying your temple through detoxification and alkalinization, the alkalinization in good water hydration as well as good nutrition is vitally important if you want that Holy Spirit to flow so that it is optimally healing and sustaining. And then, of course, step uh, number three is boosting or normalizing your natural immunity holistically. We've got to really come to terms with who are we as people physically. You know what? Is, is Max still on the line? Because I don't, I don't know how long ago this came. This was 10 minutes ago. Oh, we, got, we, we had a call. I'm sorry, Max, if you're, you're still on the line. We you know. But holding for us. It left us. Okay, not a problem. Anyway, so the f sustaining us is uh, physically, mentally. Again, this whole concept of engaging in this internal and external dialogue that is degrading us, fear-based, let it go. It's time literally to have a quiet mind, and that's really part of what the 528 Love Revolution is about because you see that the standard tuning of A440 is is playing in 741 your F sharp which means that you're stimulating the ego and that was created by the Rockefellers and the cartel to literally out of war military research to have us engage the mind ego as our exclusive source of intelligence and that's the mind ego that's uh, operating it like a mechanism that's triggered by pain fear loss real or imagined threats and that's what this whole MK Ultra Church of Satan Illuminati mechanism for population control in the mainstream media and the propaganda the manipulation of the mass mind the social engineering literally has us enslaved in ego. Science is a substitute for God today. A very poor substitute, obviously, looking at the degrading and the degeneration in the environment and our own health. So you understand, you know, health and happiness. Look at the levels of depression. So you begin to see that the concept of what you think is so important, so physical, mental, emotional, social. It's really time to engage this concept of love and forgiveness. I forgive you guys. I forgive you guys for setting me up for a, a whole assortment of trials and tribulations, from assassination efforts as well as this whole concept of the likelihood, the great likelihood based on the evidence that you guys were engaged in a plot to assassinate my good friend Don Harkins and apparently according to what he wrote uh, Harley, Christopher Story assassinated likewise. I forgive you guys. You guys are going to get your due. I'm not going to have to worry about it. You know, what goes around comes around and I think we're getting to this point of instant karma time. You know, I think that this is what this whole... 528 love revolution is about partly as we open our hearts and as we vibrate to God's love and God's law more and more than those who are closed minded and closed hearted the intense energy of the flow it's kind of like swimming against the current you can't do that without drowning the reality is you keep doing that, doing that, and ultimately you're going to drown. And the fact is that this rapid pace and the exponential acceleration of the spiritual blessing and the renaissance that's happening, this right now is going to create for a lot of people heart attacks. Instant karma going to get you was John Lennon's uh, wonderful statement. And I think it's, I think that that's uh, what we're looking at. So this concept of 
social and then ultimately environmental ways to boost your immunity holistically, very important. Oxygenation therapy, I mentioned earlier, oxygen. Oxygen is so important. It brings that breath of life, that ha, that's carrying the energy, the electron of sustainability and health of 528 frequency into your blood, and that's what's vibrating your Holy Spirit. And so if you know that, folks, just tune into the music. Go to 528records.com, 528records.com, and transpose your music. Because when you start to play it, you're not only healing yourself and vibing yourself, those waves of sound are moving out. It's like a key that opens a big door to humanity's heart. The more people that play in 528, sing in 528, chant and pray in 528, that blessing is going to accelerate more and more, and those doors are going to open wider and wider, just like a, a rush of water through a small hole in a dam opens up, and powerfully you're going to have a whole torrent of change in spirituality and blessing. And that's what we need on this planet because the politicians and the liars and the cheats and the MK Ultras and the CIAs of the world are not going to give us what we want, what God wants, which is peace on earth, sustainability, and sanity instead of hypocrisy and degradation. I'm Dr. Len Horowitz. You've been listening to the Inside Hour here. Well, well, Max is back, actually. Do you want to take a call from Max? How much time do we have? How much time is left? Well, it's, it's 10 of 7. I'm not 10 sure. 7. We're already 7 minutes late. About, you know what? There's nobody after us. Max, how you doing? Max, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello? Can you hear me? Earth to Max. Earth to Max. Hello? Hello. Hi, Max. Hey, guys. Great to hear your voices. I'm hoping all is well with you guys and praying for you. And I'm glad to hear that uh, you guys are, are keeping on this crucial work. It's really so inspiring and um and just, just really happy to hear you guys. Uh, I had a question about... We love you, about... Max. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging in there. <laughs> oh, it's a, my pleasure. You guys are... It's thrilling. It's it's better than any movie I could ever hope to, to watch. But um, I, I was wondering, because you seem to have done some work into the idea of correlating the frequencies with uh, the chakras and the chakra system. I was wondering if you found that there's any uh, relationship between the chakras and the frequencies um, of the solfeggio to maybe what's mentioned in the book of Revelation about this sevenfold spirit of God. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you, you're so right on all the time. I mean, you really are the, one of the most in, intelligent investigators in this field of music and 528 particularly. And yes, this is an area that you and I and all the people who are advancing in this field together, that is certain. Again, there's seven chakras, just like there's seven notes in an octave. They call it an octave, but there's a C that repeats itself between the lower and higher C and the octave. So it's actually seven notes. There's seven main chakras, and that each of those have a color. Each of those has a sound. And what we need to do, and I know Michael Walton has already published, this is also partly in the book of 528, that the certain frequencies are associated with those chakras. A lot of people, for example, are using the 528 tuning fork. I spoke to a chiropractor yesterday, as a matter of fact, who was using it routinely on his patients to balance their hearts because, again, the seed of uh, the heart, love, Love is the universal healer. So ultimately, if you can, you know, drink up more love and vibrate more love, you're going to be uh, immunity, Im immunologically boosted. So this is uh, what the heart chakra is associated with. Uh, Michael Walton has been doing research. There are people who are ver using various frequencies to tune the, the chakra systems, and they're different. And again, we've got to be careful because every single movement has been infiltrated by devil doers. Uh, I know there's a group right now, Jamie Bertoff and uh, Tyler Thurman, 
that again started to attack me. We have it all written on the media page at 528records.com. And you can yeah. if you haven't read and, it. And these guys are total idiots because really what they're saying is that Horowitz and their 528 is all out to lunch and the whole ball game is 432 hertz. Well, gee whiz, you know, they're so stupid. It's unbelievable because we've got the math already to prove it. 528 and 432 have a great relationship in the sacred geometry of the hexagon and the Star of David and the sacred geometry. So the scaling and measurement systems are largely based on those two numbers, but that doesn't degrade 528. It only simply celebrates another frequency that's important. And so, and those, I would say those two frequencies are probably the most two most important frequencies. However, 432 is not a solfeggio note. It's not a, uh, a that is an ancient musical uh, solfeggio frequency. And uh, 432 is not one of Rodin's family of number group uh, numbers. So although it is important, and I would encourage people to investigate it in therapeutic uh, arenas, I wouldn't say that uh, we should do anything less than with 528. And I also just are, am saying that this research that we're now advancing and this concept, we're at the stage of infancy. We need to have people like yourself, Max, actually start to look uh, in collaboration with people who have for example, uh, I think, uh, remember, you're in Toronto area. There's Dr. Sabina DeVita there that has a clinic up there. There's also Dr. Sheila McKenzie who has another clinic. She has the World Organization for Natural Medicine's Clinic for Humanity Project there in Toronto. And they have machines that actually you can uh, evaluate Thermo, thermography in der, various parts of the body, that is how hot or cold certain organs are in response to various therapeutic uh, uh, treatments. You can, for example, play a certain frequency and literally view on a computer screen the changes in the temperature of various chakra areas. And so this is the kind of multidisciplinary research that we're urging people such as yourself to do. And then please, please, please publish. Let the world know what you're finding because this is so exciting. It is going to take over the whole field of medicine. It already is. Uh, this is musical medicine. And ultimately it is what is going to alter the whole planets uh, in position by the petrochemical pharmaceutical cartel because when we realize that everything is fundamentally sound and vibration and this whole concept of hydrosonic water sound relationship in cymatics or the creation of material world through vibration that this is ultimately going to change our entire view of reality and again when we apply uh, the research in developments that can be sustaining and uplifting and healing in every field from agriculture to architecture to as I said medicine all of these things are going to change from the understanding that 528 love frequency is at the heart of creation and that vibration is essential as the music that we play and that the music that manifests us is essential in how we view ourselves and the world and what we do to ourselves or not and what we do to our planet or not is got to come back to this concept of well let's study the human chakras let's see what kind of results each frequency has with each particular chakra color and that ultimately is also going to basically dictate what choices people uh, wisely choose again if you think about uh, just a simple concept if you determine that somebody needs to have more yellow green 
in their hearts and in their lives, you know, walking into a room playing 528 music, they'll receive that. If they need to have a 417 frequency for a different shock or a different color, then they can make that choice and they can be their own doctors, be their own healers. And that's really what the ancient uh, physicians talked about. That's what Plato, Pythagoras, Aristotle, Vitruvius were all into. That was what da Vinci was inspired by, this notion that we are the musical mathematics, the creation, the divine sacred geometry of this music and mathematics. And that's what's going to ultimately, uh, I think, set us free. The Illuminati has secreted that knowledge.